The Saville Middle School student is focused on her future, but not just her own. Here's today's on a positive note. It's a Discovery E Future City competition. A bunch of schools or just like groups of people compete and they create a futuristic city that will help come up with like ideas for the future. Our team won the regional part of it. Now we are in the national competition and there's a bunch of different awards that we can win. Describe what you and your team created. What actually is it? The way that things are going right now, we're not very sustainable. The point of the futuristic city is to try and create a more sustainable future for our community or really the whole world. We have a mag lab for transportation. We have kinetic energy tiles. So every time you walk or drive a car, that's how the city is powered. Did you kind of center this futuristic city around a city today, like New York City? Our city was aimed for Sable, the town that we're representing. We know a lot about it and we know that there are many like flaws and stuff that we need to change. I mean, Julia, you gotta think about, you know, when you get older, maybe when you have kids, if you're seeing mm -hmm. some of the things that you created in your city, is that just gonna blow yeah. your mind? Yeah, that's crazy to think about that. Driving down the streets and going through town, I can like picture how we have it all set up in the future, maybe. Well, Julia, you were making the future look bright. I'll tell you that. <laughs>